Hey, welcome everyone in this new live development video about building an auto battle game. In this video, we're going to develop, uh, to start developing an OMA um, arranged attack. So for that, we're going to create a new ability row. First, we're going to get rid of the additional effects we created here. We're going to duplicate that one and create a new ability called Bolt. And I think we're going to rename that Bolt. When mana is full, uh, shot a bolt at its target. Uh, you might wonder why we're uh, doing the ranged attack now, because uh, it's something that is going to require a lot of A lot of new assets to be made, like the projectile and a lot of the logic that we're going to need to create ranged attack by default, not just abilities. So yeah, that's why we're doing this. Oh, we're going to use the same, the same um, animation. And what what is going to change is. The targeting method, we're going to have an homing projectile. So you might wonder what is the difference be between homing projectile and projectile. Homing projectile can't miss. So for ex for example, the, the attacks uh, from RTS, real-time strategy games such as StarCraft II, the ranged attack, they can't miss. But some can. So Oming, Oming projectile is going to be the one we can't miss and projectile going to be the one we can. So we want to create a basic attack. So this is going to be an Oming projectile. The origin is going to be the owner. That direction is going to be toward the target. Filters, we want alive enemies. Yeah, we, we do. Uh, we actually don't want any filters here. We could... Say that we don't need any filter because the, the target of that is just the target of the unit. The targeting method is just the target. I mean, no, the, the targeting method is homing projectile, but we don't know. I guess homing projectile by definition. Yeah, in here we have an issue. W w are targeting the homing projectile. If we have several projectiles, for example, who are they targeting? Maybe we need target here. Target could be AI target. It could be myself. It could be none. It could be point. Yeah, I think we do need this. Uh, we might break everything here. So we're just going to show this in Explorer. And we're going to copy this and paste this somewhere else. So we want to modify the targeting. Um, I'm afraid we break everything if we do this, but we're going to try. Target. We're going to browse. And we're going to... Do we already have something called... Ability targeting, this is it, but we don't have ability target. So this was not in, in our tech design, obviously, or else we would have created that by 
by now. Uh, by default, AI target, um, just target. Point, none, owner. We're gonna save everything and in here we're gonna say ability target. By default, it's gonna be the target, yeah. And in here, method, I think we could say direct. It just it just targets that. It just targets anything I I choose here. It just targets that. I think that's it. The method here will be Oh, I guess we can specify. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can leave this to target, yeah. It references this references that targets means we checks whatever is written here and in which case we can get rid of the filters. So have we broke everything here? We're gonna try. Oh, we, we no longer deal damage, apparently. Yeah, we no longer deal damage. We're gonna check why. Yeah, the Nova, the Nova is gonna target. We modify that. I think I modified that maybe by mistake before end. Yeah, I'm still not dealing damage, apparently, for some reason. Did I break everything like this? Or maybe just reset? I don't know. Oh yeah, everyone around me. It deals damage to everyone around me. We don't care about this for now. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I broke. Yeah, yeah, it deals damage now. Just too soon. Yeah, so uh, I've broke some of the some of the logic here. Yep, works. So now that's. It's working again. We can go back to our bolt. So it's an homing projectile towards our target. The origin of the of the projectile is gonna be our cells and the direction is gonna be towards the target. Target filter, we don't want any. Uh, like in the Nova. Are we already checking these? We're not, we're not even checking this yet. So we don't even care for that. We're not gonna break logic, but it shouldn't have any filter here. We're just targeting our target, our AI target. Oh no, we are doing a cleave here. I was thinking that it was an, uh, a melee attack, but it's not, I mean a basic attack, but it's not. So we do wanna target this. So we want to we wanna create an homing projectile, 
radius, now we're going to have speed, the speed of our projectile maybe, or maybe we're going to specify this somewhere else. Would we Maybe we just need to specify, yeah, I think we'll, we're going to need, in here we're going to need to specify, instead of a projectile with a mesh, a transform and a juice, maybe we just need to point towards a data table, row, maybe we're going to have a data table of projectile. I'm thinking right now. Yeah, I think that will be the easiest way to take care of that. So in ability, data targeting, we're going to have here projectile or maybe just get rid of this, maybe here create a new structure called F projectile, maybe ability projectile. We're going to open this up. We're going to have a static mesh and we're going to have several particle system. Uh, is this, can we specify? Yeah, okay. One and two and three. And four. So we get the mesh, we get the FX, we get the trail, uh, I mean, we get the body, we get the trail, we get the hit FX, or maybe this is gonna be juice. Yeah, we're gonna have the death FX and we're gonna have some juice in here. Juice targets. So when it hits, It's gonna maybe play this and that, yeah. When it dies, maybe it needs a juice as well. There's juice. Uh, juice, maybe we need a hit location here. Juice targets, we're going to have location. And in here, we're going to specify at location. In here as well. So at the location of the desk, we're going to have some kind of stuff. At the, um, is it going to be attached by default? No, it's not. Camera, camera check, none. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And we're going to have a bunch of projectiles which we can create now. Oh, we already add... Oh yeah, we created that. Oh, we already created that. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'm so dumb. That's exactly what we've been doing. Oh uh, no, okay. Yeah, that was okay. So, that was pretty 
this is unfortunate, but it's okay. So we're gonna head, head back to our, we're gonna replace one by the other. It doesn't matter, or maybe it does, but so, yeah, so that's a projectile right there. We're going to have a default projectile. Head back to our ability projectile here. We're going to create new. Tr this is going to be a transform. We're going to have a new one. Like this uh, and like that. So in here we have transform. This is going to be the default projectile. In here we're not going to take, we're going to, we're not going to have a projectile. We're going to have a row handle. Like this, we're going to save. Maybe we're going to crash. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're definitely going to crash. So we still have our transform. That our handle, it saved many things. Homing projectile, default projectile here. Uh, this is the things we no longer want to use. This is still used in the attack ability, uh, in the attack ability structure. We're going to save. Uh, in the utility. Where are we using projectile here? Maybe it's just that, yeah, we need to refresh ability manager. We need to refresh. And if we go back to the projectile, get the reference viewer. Yeah, we only have one, uh, but it's kind of strange. Uh, because juice uses projectile. No, projectile uses juice, which is okay. Where do we have projectile in here? We actually don't, so I'm not sure why. We're gonna close everything here. Hit play. Just check that everything is okay. Okay, so everything seems okay. We're gonna head back to our projectile reference viewer. So yeah, it's still it's still mentioning that one. Oh yeah, in here. Projectile, gotcha. Maybe we can get rid of this to see how it behave. It was the function which we store, where we stored all, all data. Uh, I mean, where, where we add a version of 
a local variable for each of the th things we created here. So now I think we can just get rid of this here and get rid of that. Head back to our targeting. And here we get ability projectile. So we're happy about this. We're happy about this. So we have a bolt, which is throwing a numbing projectile at, at our targets, originating from our owner, direction towards our target. Hmm. Speed in here, I think we don't we don't want speed. This is we might want that in the projectile actually. That's what I was thinking about. Ability stat, we're gonna have an array of these. And we're gonna have speed. Or maybe we're we're gonna have radius. I mean the collision size of the thing. If it's not an homing projectile. Well, that's kind of weird. The projectile is just always gonna land whatever. Yeah, it can have a, a maximum range by, I mean, though. So yeah, it can have a maximum range. By default, it's going to be zero, no maximum range. Refresh all nodes, hit play. Okay, we are fine. So now, first off, we're gonna grant that ability to our units. Bolt, we call that. And then we need to check all the logic from here to see if, if everything's going to work and to build what's not built yet. So we're emptying our mana. We're playing an animation and we're seeing that we're casting indeed. And we're triggering all. the events we are finding the targets first we're checking what is the origin if it's the owner we're setting the origin to the owner position that's correct then we're checking is that a sphere no it's not a sphere in here We're going to ask, is that an homing projectile? And if so, that's where we're going to continue our logic. Uh, but I think we're going to do a small break before uh, diving into the homing projectile logic. So hope you guys enjoyed that video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.